bit. All right, in the last episode, we shot some bus dudes and drove cars, and I ruined Tech's favorite car. Ugh, <laughs> such <laughs> like, an Like, really asshole. quickly. <laughs> in this episode, it's time to interrogate the obviously suspicious Gulliver's Travels. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of L.A. Nice. The half that you want to renovate, correct? <laughs> wow. He is, he is the most truth-telling person I've ever seen. He is made of stone. I, I mean, that part is probably true. <laughs> I say lie. <laughs> All right, let's try lie. <laughs> How much business do you do with Suburban? You get some kind of kickback from these guys. Oh, so now you're accusing me of taking kickbacks from realty developers. You have some way of proving this, detective? Do we? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> We have four no. clues and two no. of them are arson, so no. I'm going to say no. Looks like I was mistaken. The connection has to be with them and Instaheat. Because clearly Instaheat is the cause. Alright, like... Well, it's not necessarily Instaheat. Like, both houses had Instaheat stuff, but it's just possible that someone, like, knew yeah. how to arson that shit. Right. I'm going to say truth, though. Yeah, I, I mean, he's... No, I'm going to say truth. I may be wrong, but I'm going to say truth. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. All right, good job. Promotion I'm thing, whatever. Tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. <clears throat> you do a lot of these. Is this guy famous? Prizes. No, but he Look, does remind me of Marshall from these promotions uh, running at any Jason Segel, what's his name? Okay. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... Wait, what did he say? Throw a die, then have your name pulled out of a hat? That sounds really absurd. <laughs> You, oh, if uh, you're a lucky guy. Get there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. So how, how do you? How is that lucrative? We well, give away because shit. You, because the real money is in the real estate. Yeah, all right. So this, this is, is not, so, not truth. But the only thing we have that's even remotely related is that uh, ticket, which I don't think says anything. Uh, we can't. Wait. Responsible for leaflet campaign and competition. So uh, this is just saying that they the, the fund yeah. does this. Right. So I don't think that's a clue. Yeah. It's got to be doubt then, right? Yeah, go for it. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. It's kind of weird. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Oh, huh. he gave help. that up pretty uh, easily. No problem. Yeah. I wish I could do something for that family. You could put around the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you good man, Cunningham? You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poor Why are they putting but... the screws to this guy? He's actually Wait. a decent person. He yeah. heard something bad happen. He's like, oh, shit. Yeah, I think these guys did it. Yeah, he's like, oh, shit. Let me give you all the information yeah. you need to make an arrest. Like, he, like he's like the coolest person we've met in this game. Yeah, we, and we're just going to stiff. Yeah, and like, we're like, yeah, you got to pay for the people whose house burned down, even yeah. though you're only like tangentially yeah, an accessory. And 50 bucks in the 40s is like a lot of money. It's like a million dollars. A million dollars, you guys. That's why I want to be a time traveler, because the exchange rate is awesome. <laughs> Except none of no one would recognize modern money, <laughs> so it doesn't do you any good. I'm sure somewhere there's a like a money changer, like at like international airports. Yeah. I mean, you can't pay with Barack Obama dollars. Like, do you see that Terra Nova? Oh God, is that a thing? <laughs> in, in the in the pilot of Terra Nova, they're carrying Barack Obama dollars. I'm I'm, I'm I tempted. Swear to God. I'm tempted to watch the following two episodes of Terra Nova to do like a three episode. You know, I actually heard that the most recent episode was good. I haven't watched it yet. I mean, like, Mike watched... Brother! My friend Mike watched the other, like, second and third episodes and told me they're just terrible. He yeah. said, like, they're the sorts of plots that come up, like, in the fourth season when you've, like, run out of, like, new plot ideas. Yeah. And well, I don't doubt it. He said they've already done an amnesia plot, which makes me mad. Because those need to be used sparingly and done creatively to be yeah. anything other than terrible. Yeah. 
That, that bit's never been overdone. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, like, the only time there's an exception to that rule is if you're, like, writing a soap opera and you just, like, super overplay it to the point that it's, like, hysterical. Please. Right. Can't seem to derail the trolley. I love that you turn as often as possible. Well, yeah, how else am I gonna get there? I mean, you could take, like, one road and then another road and be there. No, that never works out for me. Son of a bitch! You seem to be driving past that other crime scene. You shut your trap. Yeah, which I've slightly ruined. Wait, what was that? Was that, that was that one was of the ones we were just... I don't remember which scene? one. Okay. So this place is, like, right down the street from the house that burned down. Uh, yes. That's good, too. Good. I'm glad. This case is not completely open and shut. Why are we bothering it with them? Oh my god, please be John Noble. I don't think he's in this game. Fuck you. I'm pretty sure you're making Fuck that. Fuck you. Up. Hey, look, it's not John Noble. Fuck <laughs> off. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Why does he keep calling us Mac? Thanks for your help. <laughs> of course it is. investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of I'm, your mind. I'm sorry, are we done here? Yep. He got back in the... Is that all we... Is That was all? Really? Yay. Okay. I hope, okay. I hope, sure. I bet you Leland Monroe is uh, John Noble. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Where are you going? Away from our partner. Did you see the truck? There was a truck. Where? Right there. Ooh, I'll take that. There you go. Man, running is so slow when you're near a crime scene. It's awful. Yeah. Like, why is that even a feature? Like, if you were looking for something, you would just walk. You wouldn't hold down the run button. You yeah. don't need to, like... What? Who's screaming? Are you screaming? <laughs> Someone was murdered. It's are fine. We're, we're not on homicide anymore. Jesus with these Christ. Things? You are... You're gonna have so much... In, yeah, uh, no. I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm kind of just trying to destroy him. I, I don't, I don't know how you haven't picked up on this. No, I, point I've now. noticed. I've noticed. Like you know, in the beginning, I was sort of like derpy derp. I'm bad at driving. Now I'm just sort of like I hate everything and want to destroy this world yeah. with my mulch truck. Yeah. I feel like we would probably enjoy this game slightly more if we paid attention to half the cutscenes. Uh, I'm not actually convinced of that. I'm really? genuinely not convinced of that. Like maybe like more as a relative term, but not like notably more. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like, I think we would, we would, like, understand things a tiny bit more, and so would be less frustrated sometimes. See, I feel like if we understood it more, I, at least, would be really annoyed at how bad the plot is. I mean, that's fair. Because even, like, going back and watching these to, like, tag them for YouTube, I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. Like Everybody was freaking out about this game, though, when it first came out. Yeah, no, absolutely. Was like, this game is amazing, and shit is so crazy, and everyone should love it forever. Yes. And, like, I, I appreciate it for what it is. Like, it's clearly, like, groundbreaking in a sense. Yeah, no, like, it does... It, it, it certainly... It just fails so hard at the things that it should have done The thing is, well. like, it's really good at being an experimental game, but, like, the basic shit in a game, like, it's just... It hasn't got any of that down. Yeah. The gameplay's like a little bit buggy. Visit him at Fire Station 32. The graphics aren't perfect. Oh and my like God. the story is just miserable. Lynch. Ride the pole. Lynch is a legend. You should feel proud. Only if you have singles. You have singles? He doesn't let me go to the end of right. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something about fires. Lynch. Biggs? You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Famous, Avenue right? as well? Yep. Really? I don't know. But you don't recognize him? I had to look around the place From while what? I was out there. Things. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. I put an annotation. Of an explosion. He'll say who he is. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Is this the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. We learned this already. Yeah, we already saw this. How is this a new clue? I have a theory. And it's a theory only. Or no, wait, the Sawyer was the second family, so we haven't now, seen it. If you say it's so, no, that was it. we saw that at the first Okay. Oh, you're right, we haven't. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve. And the balloon represents 
the gas expanding in the room. Ooh, science experiment. Now, the gas Seems has that way. to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you I can I kind of wish this guy was Julius that. Sumner Miller. Who? He made these, like, really ridiculous science videos <laughs> that, like, we had to watch in my high school. Oh, look, you have to build the... <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It's like a pipe. Nice. Yeah, that has to go next to the coil, because that's the one with the balloon. This is stupid. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. I thought that was the gas bubble. No, I think this blue thing is. Okay, so move that over then. Like, why doesn't he do this? He knows what's going on. Why can't... This is dumb. So, can you activate the... Wow. Oh, so we uh, we did have it right. Seriously? I don't know. Seriously? This is terrible. <laughs> this Come on, Alps. You need to get the arrangement right before we can reproduce the results. Are you this is the dumbest thing in this whole game. Like, what? No, I... Do the other one! What the... <laughs> no, that was right. No, oh, this is right, isn't it? Yeah, it needs to be next to that burning ember thing. Then that thing goes in there. I guess. Good, your regulator's in position. Why didn't he just do that? I don't okay. understand! This is another one of those things that we could have just gas. learned in a cutscene. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. I learned nothing! So that's how it's being done. Science! Maybe. Balloon. Thanks, be Mr. Wizard, for found. ruining my day. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to Instaheat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. What? I think they're going to go see a musical together. What the hell? How are we going to look sitting <laughs> around in this <laughs> Is he pissed that you're stealing his fire truck? I hope so. No, all they are partners pissed that we're driving around in it. Imagine if no. you did this, like in real life. The next <laughs> fire. You're like, ask the... Oh, you should no, go to the great, factory and see any of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? Has a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. I'm gonna go start some fires now. Now that we learned all that from Mr. Wizard? Yep. Oh, for God's sakes. He was like Bill Nye the Science Guy. Without the hair. And the science. We should see if we can find, like, a Julius Sumner Miller video on YouTube or something. That guy's crazy. <laughs> you know what it should have been? It should have been Adam Savage inhaling some sulfur hexafluoride. Oh, science! For science. My favorite. But like, imagine if you like went this to. This apparently follows no laws of momentum <laughs> whatsoever. That's why it's such a good no! vehicle. So like, imagine if you like went to the fire department because you're working an arson case, uh -huh. and the guy like helps like air quotes helps you out by like having you build this stupid contraption. Right. And then like you just steal his fire truck, <laughs> the one in his department. That's <laughs> Fred. <laughs> I'm really excited for my damage totals. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. I think that one that we noted that one time is still our record. What was it? Do you remember? Not off the top of my head, but like we could just check our playlist because it's the title of that episode. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't top it, I don't know how how it's possible to. <sighs> Have you lost some speed? Yeah, no, I, I've been I've been wrecking this for oh, about a city block. It's dead. Look, there's another car. Convenient. <laughs> like, like, how many people? Is this a hearse? Oh, is that, it's, I think it's a milkman. Yeah, I don't know. Look at this guy. Well, it's kind of hearse-like. I find one goddamn ding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a hearse. <laughs> if he finds one ding, I'm gonna blow this car up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
Alright, it's about that time. Alright, well, probably not too far now, so join us next time when we talk to InstaHeat about our science experiment or something. <laughs> like, are, what are, are we trying to get a college scholarship or solve this case? I don't know. I hate this game.